Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. I'm working with HockeyShot.com and in this video we're talking about ways you can improve your shooting accuracy at home. So if you look behind me, you might notice that I'm on an outdoor rink and obviously not everybody has an outdoor rink. But the good thing is to improve your accuracy at home, you don't really need an outdoor rink. It, it's nice to have, but all you really need is a nice smooth surface to practice shooting from. So in this case, I'm using a chunk of ice, but you guys can use a roll-up shooting pad or a hockey shooting pad and those things you can use them any time of year, summer or winter, and they're a lot of fun to practice your shooting. Before I get to the shooting tips, I'm just going to run you through a few really quick tips that will help make your shooting practice a lot more fun and a lot more effective. And if you're out here shooting a lot more, then you're going to improve a lot more. So let's get to that first. My number one tip is to have a nice smooth surface to shoot off of. So I already talked about that. I'm using ice, but you guys can use a roll-up shooting pad or any shooting pad from Hockey Shot or the tiles as well. Also, you need a net, if, especially if you're working on accuracy. So with this one, I've got the Easy Goal. So I really like the Easy Goal. It's got this backstop, so I'm not shooting, uh, losing pucks into the snowy abyss behind that net and never getting them back until springtime. It's got the backstop there, so I can miss by a few feet and uh, still get my puck back. And I also have a shooting target. So having a target is a really good idea. You don't need to buy one. It's nice to have this goalie up here because you got some spots to snipe. But really all you have to do is hang like a water bottle or some soup cans or something from your net. You can even get an old tire and throw it down there for the five hole. Uh, so you don't have to pay for targets, but they're, it's always nice to have. So I do recommend targets, uh, whether they're free or you buy them, that's up to you. So nice smooth surface. Uh, a net and some targets is definitely recommended for your accuracy and obviously a whole bunch of pucks is what I recommend in all my shooting videos. You want probably at least 20 because if you only have about five pucks you spend more time trying to get them and then setting them up and then shooting. So you want to spend as much time shooting as you possibly can because that's the fun part of uh, shooting practice is shooting the pucks. So get at least 20, I'd say uh, 50, but all it's going to cost you is about 50 bucks. Get 50 pucks for 50 bucks, I think they're about a dollar at most stores. So get a whole bunch of pucks and uh, nice smooth surface. And one more thing to make it a lot more fun is bring some music out here and uh, you know put on some jams, put on your favorite songs. And if you're shooting with music, I find that you end up staying out a lot longer than you normally would. So those are all my tips for shooting. Now I'll give you a few tips for practicing your accuracy at home. So I'm not gonna go really deep into the technique here because I just covered that last week in my on ice video. So if you're looking for uh, the detailed technique about improving your accuracy, check out our other video, uh, how to improve your shooting accuracy, and it's an on ice, ice video. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna talk about shooting at home and what you should be doing while you're at home to practice your accuracy. So uh, there the two main ways that you're gonna shoot the puck is with your wrist shot. So if you're uh, cutting across, you're transferring the weight onto this leg here and getting that nice big sweeping wrist shot. So that's one way, that's uh, how most go goals are scored or is with a nice powerful wrist shot. The other way is with a snap shot. So that's with your chest facing the net, you're transferring the weight onto the foot closest to the blade of your stick. So you can see right here, I'm gonna lean over and get that snap off. It's a quick little snap shot. So those are the two, two shots that you, you usually take in hockey, uh, the ones that you use the most. So those are the two shots that I really recommend practicing your accuracy with. So don't always be shooting here and drawing the puck across your body and practicing that one. You know, switch it up sometimes and move to this snapshot and practice your accuracy with that snapshot as well. You don't always have time to set up that full big sweeping wrist shot, that nice powerful one, right? Sometimes you need to just get a quick snap on net. So you wanna practice your uh, accuracy with both of those. Another tip, is to practice how you play. So normally with these uh, bigger wrist shots, I take a lot of the big wrist shots from out further back. So 20 feet out, I, I'm taking the more powerful wrist shots. So that's where I wanna practice my accuracy for those ones. So practice your, practice your accuracy from a distance with these big wrist shots. And if you wanna practice the accuracy for your snapshots, maybe move in a bit quick, closer to the net, right about here. Because a lot of times this is when you want those quick hard shots off, where you just need a quick snap to the top right, quick snap to the five hole, quick snap to top left, right? You just need to get that puck off quickly while that opportunity is still there before the goalie can stop you. So practice how you play. Uh, that's uh, another big tip for practicing your accuracy. Another big tip that I have, especially for the guys that are just practicing in the running shoes and the shooting pads and stuff like that, is don't lose that hockey form. So when you're on the ice, you have a certain form and a certain technique. And I want you guys to carry that through, especially when you're shooting at home. So it doesn't matter if you have skates on or running shoes on, you always want to get in that hockey stance, you always want to practice that good weight transfer. I see with a lot of players practicing at home, they'll stand up and those kind of lazily shoot pucks to the net. That uh, won't help you that much. It might help you a little bit, but not as much as it could. I want your shooting practice to be very, very effective. So always get in that hockey stance, practice that weight transfer, uh, especially with the wrist shot or with the full wrist shots and the snap shots. Uh, try something, it's called load and explode. So you're loading up this back leg and you're exploding into the shot. So once that leg is loaded, you see I have that knee bent, then you wanna really push into that shot. 
And you can do it with running shoes on, you can do it with hockey skates on, and that's gonna train you to always shoot like that. So when you get those shots in the game, you're used to shooting at full power, loading up your leg, getting the weight transfer, and then having an accurate shot. Um, if you practice without all those techniques, you're gonna be used to having a really lazy shot and good accuracy. When it comes game time and you need a hard shot, you might miss the net by 10 feet. So practice that really good form while you're uh, practicing at home as well. So right now I've got 20 pucks set up. I'm gonna make a game out of it, see how many shots that I can call out of 20. And uh, I haven't had any warm up or anything like that. I've been sitting here talking the whole time. So I'm guessing that my accuracy will be pretty bad. But right, let's see. So I'm gonna start trying to go for that uh, top right corner. I got four pucks, so try to put four pucks top right. Oh, that wasn't it. There we go. It's one for two. Oh, a bar down. That's two for three. Oh, I just hit the post. Now I'm gonna try to go around the world. So bottom right, top right, top left, and bottom left. That bottom right one will be hard to hit. Oh, snuck her in there. So there's one for one. Go top right here. Bam. Right where the pipe meets pipe. Top left. There's another one. And bottom left. Ah, oh, I don't, I wouldn't call that one, it's just to the right. So another little tip uh, while I'm taking these shots is always take a look up at your target before you shoot. Uh, you'll find that if you're looking down at the puck and you shoot, you probably end up either missing the net or hitting the goalie right in the middle. You can't really hit the target if you don't look. So at least take a peek up before you go for that shot. Just taking that one peek is gonna give you a good read of the net and see where you should be aiming. So if I'm coming in and I take a peek up and I see a lot, of net to the left, I'm just gonna align my body a little bit more to that left before I take that shot off. And same thing if I'm coming here, I take a peek and I see that right side, I'm just gonna shift a little bit more to the right side before I take that shot. And that really helps you get better angles on the goalies, especially when you're coming in. So say you get a pass right here, take a peek up, and that quick little read will tell me that there's a little bit of opening on that right side. I'm gonna move the puck over here and then get that shot off. And just by taking that quick read, it allowed me to adjust my positioning on the ice, get a better angle, and then also improve my accuracy. That's it guys, thanks a lot for watching the video. Hopefully those tips will help you guys improve your shooting at home. If you need any uh, hockey shooting products, check out hockeyshot.com, they got all kinds of great stuff, like the, the stuff that I've been using in this video. And if you're looking for more hockey tips, check out howtohockey.com. You can subscribe to my blog and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, see you guys in the next video.